going ahead with question number 17. It says apply a tent on worker node, node 7 with the details provided below. So the tent information is here. This is how it is going to look like. Key is equal to ELV type, value is production. And then the effect operator is equal, which is needed inside the port. And effect is no schedule. Basically, when we apply any taint on any of the node, worker or master, it lets you create a stamp on it by which it checks the port for that particular information first before letting that port get inside. So it has to be matching information. For example, here we are going to specify key is equal to EMV type, value is equal to production, operator is equal, effect is no schedule. Basically, we are going to test this by two ports, Dave NGINX and Road NGINX, and we will see where actually they are going. So, let's just go ahead and show you how actually the things look like. G get no, okay, let's just say describe this. First of all, alias G is equal to cube CTA. Okay, G describe G describe node node 6. This is the master node. I'm going to show you what is the tint that it has. I can find tint. So this is the team that by default normally in some deployments it is by default going so that none other than the daemon sets pods should go to control plane but even this can be removed if you see this if i say i want my masters should be able to admission admit my ports so I will just say G taint node node 6 and then specify this and there is a minus in the end if I say this the taint from the node 6 is gone but this is not a good practice so let's just keep that as it is it has been tainted already and now we will see how nodes node 7 looks like and node 8 looks like so we'll just say node 7 no tint and then node 8 no tint so we'll go ahead and tint our node 7 g tint node node 7 and the value is specified Key is ENV type and value production and no scale. So, this is the way you specify for an taint. Given. So, ENV type and then there is production and then there is. ENV type is equal to production and column. This would be no schedule. No. This has been tainted. Now we will create two ports one with the taint information and second would be without taint information. Let's just say we are going to create a dev, dev port. It should not go to node 7. So we will just say G1 and it is given also. So my dev and GINX, dev and GINX, I can have an image is equal to NGINX. Let's see where it goes. G ports. And I can go right. So my it should my new port should not be going to node 
7. By default, it is going to node 8, which means it is okay. Looking at the ratio, it looks like node 8 is like quite free, so it might be going there. But let's just check with the code with the taint information. Yet. So, run code and so the name of the code would be prod and gis prod and gis and then images and gis and hyphen hyphen dry run we are going to create a file first then we will specify this information which we are going to get it from the documentation dry run is equal to client and then I can pull yeah. YAML. Let's just take it to Prodium AI 17 Prodium and let us delete unnecessary information um, and then we will specify the taint information here. But we need to get these uh, this formatting. For that, let's just search the documentation. And I'm going to search for evaluation. Content and evaluation. I'm going to go and look for certain information with evaluation. This is the information I've been looking for. Let me just get inside this code and say this is my values. So I need to make sure it is in alignment with the channel, otherwise it will not. So here you need to specify all the all the required information what what we have in the so here t is equal to emd type and then operator equal it is given value is given as product okay now schedule is something that we have it already as you can see here in the no schedule is effect. So if these values are matching, it should by default be going to my node 7 which has these values matching with this. Here we type for this code would be production. Let me just run this. G apply hyphen F 17 and let's just see where it has gone. G codes. Then C if I say I don't know why it should be going to node 7. Okay. Prod, 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 prod and GIMX should be going to node 7. Yes. This is what we expect. So this is it. I hope you liked it. Thank you.